So in this video, we're going to look at how to insert a PayPal button onto your WordPress website if you want to, say, offer something like a product or some sort of um, digital or virtual uh, product on your site or membership access or an ebook or whatever, and you want to sell it, you probably want to have a payment button or a way for people to pay you. So if you don't have a shopping cart software, a shopping cart account with something like One Shopping Cart or Infusionsoft or anything like that, you can use PayPal. Um, and PayPal's tools have gotten a lot better over the years and it's gotten much more reliable um, with uh, being able to give you payments and, and become a, a place of dealing commerce online. Um, and people don't need a PayPal account to check out with PayPal. They can still just use their credit card. They don't actually have to have a PayPal account. So that really helps too. So in this video, we're just gonna look at how to add a PayPal button to your website. And the example site I have is here where there are payment buttons. This is selling a program. And so someone clicks on the button to purchase the program and make their payment. And then they receive emails following up with their login details to access like their member area and such like that. But right now we're just gonna focus on making the PayPal button. So these are two different programs. So they have two different prices. So there's two different buttons. So what we're gonna do is look at this button. So how do we create a button that looks like this? Well, you need two things. One, you need a PayPal account that has the ability to create buttons. So if you log into your PayPal account, you should, now every PayPal is a little bit different, I see, it seems, and depending on what version you're at or what kind of pro, uh, account you have or what country you're in, it may look slightly different. So somewhere in your PayPal account, there should be something that says like tools or accepting payments or business tools or something, business setup. You need to set up the business setup first before you'll have the ability to make PayPal buttons in most cases, I believe. But when you log in, if it looks something like this, which hopefully it does, under tools, you click on that and you should come up to a screen that looks like this. And then we want to go to the PayPal button area. So first you just need to have the ability in your PayPal account to set up a button, right? And if you don't, then it's probably just need to add some business details or some banking stuff to your account details, to your profile, which you can access your profile up here. You probably just need to add something to your profile and that will then give you the ability to make buttons on your site. The second thing you need is an image. So in this case, I made this image in Photoshop. Um, you can find button images. You can Google around for images. You can purchase images to use for buttons. You can Google like, you know, a uh, red payment button or green payment button or green join now button or whatever, or ask a web designer to make a button for you, but you'll probably find um, buttons, you can also go to fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, and pay someone five bucks just to design a button for you the way you want it. In WordPress, there's what's called your media library where you save your images when you upload images. So you want to have that image first, the image of the button, and you'd want to upload it to your WordPress library. So we're going to look here. This is the back end of this page right here. Um, and this particular theme has is set up like this. Yours may not look like this because you don't have this theme, um, but you know the process is pretty much the same. So first what you want to do is go to your media library and you're going to add new. So you'll go to media library, add new, and you'll upload your button image. Their image is somewhere down here. Um, we have uploaded the image. It's probably buried somewhere, but um, you'll upload the image first. When you upload an image, anytime you upload an image, you'll then be able, once it's uploaded, you'll be able to click on edit. And when you edit it, any image in WordPress, you'll see the file URL. This is the location of that image file. And that's what you're gonna need to make your button in PayPal. So again, you just add new, you add your image file to your media library. Once it's added, you click on edit, and then you go over to file URL over here, and you just do um, a copy, and then you'll paste it later. So you first have your image. So once you have that, then what you want to do in your PayPal area is just go to PayPal buttons um, and there will be a little welcome video. This is awesome to just kind of get a understanding of what's going on. Highly recommend you watch that. Then you click on create a button. Now I have saved buttons because I've created buttons already. So there's already buttons here. Once you've created a button, it will be listed in your saved buttons area. And once they are, you can then go back and you can edit it. You can view the code. You can create a similar button. You can delete the button, create a new button, whatever. Um, in this case, you'll probably, if you ha don't have any buttons, you'll go straight to the create new button page. 
and you'll go to creating your first button. And here's just where you go through the steps. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the main thing is the type of button. You'll probably be creating, in most cases, a buy now button. Um, but there's also, there's many different kinds of things here, right? You can offer, and each one of these is slightly different in how the payment is set up. So I highly recommend just checking out PayPal's documentation and support to understand what each of these buttons are. Right here's information. If you're not sure, you just click on that and PayPal walks you through it. In many cases, you'll probably want a buy now or like a subscription button. In this case, we might, we'll just create the buy now because it would be for a one-time purchase of one of these programs. So you want to figure out the type. Then you want to type in whatever it's called. So we'll call this, um, whatever. This is your own notes. Um, and it's also going to probably show when they click on the button to check out. So for this instance, we're going to click. So let's click. Um, and that's going to take us to PayPal. And you'll see that what you type in here for the item name is then going to display over here whenever someone goes to checkout. So it's important to create the button name and then that's, you know, you want it to be accurate so it's not just for you to read. Next you want to go down to the price. This is where you would obviously enter the price for whatever it is you're selling. And here, because you probably don't want the default image of PayPal because it just looks kind of boring, you probably want your own. So this is where you customize the text and you select use your own button image and this is where you're going to paste in the URL over here to the file. Obviously this is not the image that I'm trying to paste in but that's what you would what you would paste in after you've uploaded your button to your WordPress site. You copy that you then paste it in here so we'll just do a uh, that's not my <laughs> let me see I'll just do it real quick with you so let's do edit copy or you can right click and then I'm going to paste. And so there's the image, right? Now again, this is not the image we're going to use, but this gives you the example. After that, you probably don't need anything else here unless you have something to do with taxes or like shipping, you would add that there. Next, um, in most cases, you don't need to check anything in step two. You can just leave it as is. Step three, this is where you want to let them know. You just want to answer these questions. Um, and so walk through each one of these depending on what it is you're selling. Um, in most, most cases you might say no, you don't want to add special instructions. Do you want to let them change quantities? Say yes or no. Um, yes or no if you need the address. And then finally you want to select this. If they cancel their checkout, you want to paste in the URL, probably the URL to your home page, right? And then if they, once they finish, this is where you want to have your thank you page. So whatever the URL is to your thank you page. So you probably want to go back and create um, a new uh, a thank you page, right? So you create a page in WordPress, and then once you've created that new page and you view it, you'll then um, you'll then have the URL to it. So like for instance, if I go to view page, um, if this happens to be the thank you page, I would copy the URL of the page itself, and that's where you paste it in here, right? And that's it. After you have that, so we'll just use one here just as an example. So this is the URL to the particular page that we've created for this client that's a thank you page, right? So we just created the basic page and then we pasted the URL to that page here. And so finally you just hit create button. Once you click that button, you'll then be on a page where you'll get the button code. So you'll copy the code that's in the website tab and that's what you're going to paste into your website. Or if you just need a one line link, you can click on the email tab and this is the link. So the button could just, you know, any button you enter into your site could then just link to this URL. So you either click this or this, either one. If you grab this, that'll give you uh, everything you need. So you just select the code and then you go back to your website. Now you can of course go back and edit the button if you need to. Otherwise it's going to save in your buttons, in your My Save buttons and you can go back later if you need. You can create a similar button just like this one to duplicate it. But you copy that and then you go back to your page. So in this case, in this particular theme, it looks like this. We're going to go to the place where they purchase and say, for instance, if this is the area where it's going to be, you'll notice that you can paste the code. Now you want to make sure in WordPress you're in the text tab. So if you're on the page editor, you want to go to the text tab, not the visual tab. 
right? Your page editor will have the visual and text whenever you're editing a page. Go to the text tab, and then you would paste it in there. So we can see it here. This is the, the code from PayPal that we got, that we generated when we made the button. We pasted it here, you click Save. That then, when you update and publish your page, that then puts the button on your page with the image that you uploaded, right? So I hope that helped. Um, if th any of this is confusing, if the kind of the back and forth between PayPal and your website is confusing, I understand. <laughs> and you can always check out um, techdivamedia.com if you want tech support with setting up things like this on your website. But I hope this helped. And um, there's many great tutorials and guidance available on, on PayPal for setting this up. So hopefully this will get you going in the right direction. Thank you.